Hello, my name is Kurt Spackman, and I'm a technical support engineer here at ACI. Today, we're going to be discussing our WPR2 differential pressure transmitter. When used in conjunction with the variable frequency drive, the WPR2 will help save energy and money by controlling the speed of the heating, cooling, and booster pumps within the building. While average savings will vary, it is safe to say that not all pumps need to be running at full capacity all the time. Automatically controlled VFDs modulate pump speed based on data from a control variable. The most common control variable is pressure. Monitoring differential pressure is an essential component of variable speed pump control. Differential pressure, as it relates to a closed loop system, is the difference in pressure between two points within the system. Typically, differential pressure is monitored across the suction and discharge sides of the system circulator, or somewhere within the supply and return header. However, the placement of the transducers and differential range set points will vary from system to system. ACI's WPR2 comes with both high and low pressure transducers that provide analog outputs based on sensed pressure. The transducers are remotely mounted, eliminating the need for additional plumbing or a three-valve manifold. The pressure signals from the transducers are sent back to the WPR2's PCB, where calculations are made and an analog output is provided to the VFD based on the selected differential range. ACI offers three WPR2 models, the WPR230, WPR2100, and the WPR2300. Each model comes with four field-selectable differential pressure ranges, three field-selectable analog outputs, and the ability to switch the remote sensors from unidirectional to bidirectional using onboard dip switches. Model selection of the WPR2 is based on the maximum line pressure within the closed loop system. For example, if the maximum line pressure is 150 PSI, you will select the WPR2 300 because the pressure is above 100 PSI but below 300 PSI. To complete your part number, select your transducer cable length and LCD option. The optional LCD displays both the high and low pressures being sensed, differential pressure, and any error message. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding the WPR2 or any other ACI products, feel free to call 888-967-5224 or click the chat button on the bottom of any page of our website at workaci.com. The WPR2 Differential Pressure Transmitter from ACI. Just another way ACI is engineering a better sensor solution.